I'm Chris, the lead IELTS instructor at the Portland English Language Academy, and I'm out on one of my walks, sort of enjoying nature during this coronavirus time. And I wanted to share with you something that happened last night in my English class. It was kind of unusual and pretty cool. So we were reviewing vocabulary from a TED Talk that I had assigned as homework. And they were asking the normal questions about phrasal verbs or about idioms or certain expressions that they didn't know. And then one student asked about this word and it took me a moment to sort of realize what that word was she was asking about. And it was the word unbeknownst. So we started talking about this word and I shared with them that this is one of those great words that you can use in an IELTS test or a TOEFL test to demonstrate to the examiner that you have a really high level English ability. It's words like unbeknownst that are never taught in an English class. But these are words that a lot of American adults, I would say probably even a majority of American adults actually know, but never use. And it's one of these kinds of words like unbeknownst that demonstrate a very high level of English vocabulary knowledge. I talk a little bit about this in my IELTS online classes. I, you can find those on Pella online. And here's a little bit of what I talk about in the speaking modules about how you should be and can be using unusual words to show a high level of English vocabulary knowledge. Now, when it comes to high level words, what I'm talking about with this is not necessarily academic words. High level means it's high level in the sense that it is an unusual word for a non-native speaker to use. That could be because it's a high level academic word, but it could also mean that it's just high level because it's a word that Americans or British people use all the time, but it's never in an English language uh, textbook. So you want to be thinking about and listening to the kinds of words and phrases that native speakers use. The last thing that I want to talk about here is this sentence at the, at below. The IELTS rewards you if you use uncommon words, if you use uncommon phrases, if you use uncommon idioms, or you use a word in an uncommon way. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is, is that on test day, you're not the only person that's going to be sitting in that room answering questions. The IELTS examiner unconsciously is going to be comparing you to the person who came right before you or two people before you, which means you need to be trying to show that you can do something that that person didn't. Therefore, you want to be thinking about the words and phrases that other students don't use, or you want to be trying to say things in slightly different ways than what the normal student might say. For example, think of the word, however. However, nearly everybody knows. We use it to basically talk about this contrast between ideas. But there's another use of however. Here in this sentence, we're using however in a different way, aren't we? However you study for the IELTS, study every day. In this sentence, however does not mean but. Here it means it doesn't matter what way you study for the IELTS. What's important is that you study every day. Here, I'm using a very common word in an uncommon way. So remember, in an IELTS test or a TOEFL test, you want to not only demonstrate the skills you have with English grammar and vocabulary, but you want to show that you know how to do things that other students don't demonstrate. When you're sitting in that IELTS interview, you are being unconsciously compared to the other students that have taken the test before you that day. And so you can impress that IELTS examiner by doing something that other students have not done, by using vocabulary that other students don't think about using. You want to be a little different. Be different.
and see your IELTS score rise. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, hopefully that means you found something useful or informative about this video. If that's the case, be sure to click this or this, or you can click something here. There might be something over here and find out more about how Pella can help you to master the IELTS.